Good morning YouTube. Welcome to The Proof Room, the channel about crafting alcohol in your home. Today we are going to go over how to build your still column. Alright guys, if you watched the intro by now you already know that today we're going to be working on our column for our still. Now, the first step to this is to organize all your pieces, get all your tools around, and do a real good cleaning on all of your parts. So that's what I'm going to do now. Now, how we're gonna start this process here is, I'm gonna take my two inch piece of pipe, uh, my first two inch piece of pipe, and I am going to use some silver solder and some flux to get this to fit in here. I know this is probably not the right way to do this, it's probably to braise it, but uh, silver solder and flux is what I have on hand. Um, I'm going to use a propane torch. I know map gas is probably better, but use what you got. Before we get started, I'm going to flux both pieces here. Um, and I'm going to use a generous amount of flux. I just got an old paintbrush here. Um, and it's lead-free flux, lead-free solder, silver solder. So you should be able to find it at your local hardware or anywhere. And you just kind of paint this stuff on. All right, now I don't know if you can see this or not, but I have that part sit on a, a block. Just a, a cement block that's been out in my yard for a while. It's a little dirty and grubby, but it'll work perfect for this process. And I'm just gonna set that down on top of it. Okay, this joint is gonna work. We're gonna make it work. Um, the tri-clamp fitting is fitting there fine. You can see it, it's holding fairly good. Um, and I'm just gonna do one on the other end and I'll save you the boring process here. All right, we're gonna work, let that cool for a minute and we're gonna start working on our second piece. Now, this piece, I'm gonna save you the trouble of watching me uh, kind of solder that stainless steel piece on. I'm gonna do this one. Um, I've already drilled the hole here um, and I don't remember the drill bit size. I used a step bit um, and see here. 
this collar right here um, will go perfectly inside that hole uh, once we get it heated up here. Now I'm gonna slowly work this hole a little bit bigger. Now I'm gonna do the same thing to this and just get it cleaned up a little bit here. All right guys, now as you can see, I got that pretty shiny um, and it should fit in our cleaned up hole. There we go. Almost perfect here. All right, now here's the trick, is trying to get this thing straight before I solder it in. Um, and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna flux my joint. As you can see here, I did get a fairly tight clean joint and I'm fairly happy with that. Um, and, he and here's the other side. So now the main part of our tower is done. And we're gonna take this and stack it on top of this, okay? And now we have to build our heat exchanger, our condenser, and I will go over that with you now. All right guys, now the first step here is to cut your half inch pipe to length, okay? You have to decide how long you want your spout to be. Now you can always add on to this after you're done um, to, to drain your ethanol off. But you have to decide how long you want your condenser to be. All right guys, once you know how long you want your condenser to be, and you've cut your half inch pipe to size. Now it's time to cut your three quarter inch pipe. How, how I measured this was I put my half inch pipe inside my three quarter inch pipe, and I cut it so that way my T's would fit on the end and still leave enough room to attach my 90 on one end and have a spout on the other. Once you got this cut, it's time to start soldering stuff together. Now how I'm going to do this is I'm going to put the whole thing together and I'm going to solder each joint individually. I'm going to move from one end of the piece to the other back and forth to try not to get it too hot and then we'll, we'll see where we're at. Now, once you have it through, you can. this is the last chance that you're going to have to adjust where you want your inlets at. I like mine both to be on the same side and I want them to be as straight as possible. So I am going to try. There. Okay, so that's where I want those at. Now, I don't have a vise, uh, a bench vise. I wish I did. So I'm just gonna use a clamp, clamp it to my table solder one end, then solder the other. All right guys, now that I have all my pieces cut to fit, it's time to flux all of your joints and solder them in. All right guys, now I am going to solder my 90 on right here. 
And uh, I've already soldered the fitting on, and it's just a copper fitting. And the 90 will go on this end. And I want my T's to point that way from my 90. So I'm going to clamp this down to my work table and uh, solder this in. So what I've decided to do here, guys, is extend this section of the T, and then I'm going to take this fitting right here, and this is going to go right on the end. Alright guys, now that I have my heat exchanger done, or Liebig condenser, um, whatever you guys call this, uh, the last thing that I want to do is kind of let this cool off, and then I'm going to pressure test it. Alright guys, now, I don't know if you can see this, this piece is completely constructed, and I put uh, a couple of valves on here, just standard uh, spout valves. I've had pressure coming in this line through here and out this line for about 15 minutes now. Um, and there hasn't been any leaks, there's no problems. But uh, I did have a problem here and I don't know, I'm sure you guys can see this joint. But uh, that joint right there took me about four hours. All right guys, as you can see with the change of clothes here, it's the next day. I worked on this thing for a full day and another half a day or so, all because of one joint that didn't solder right. It was my fault, I cleaned it too much. I think I took too much off the pipe, the half inch pipe underneath of it, and I just couldn't get it to seal right. If I had to do it again, I probably would have torn it all apart, cleaned up the pieces, Put a new, bought a new section of half inch pipe, did it all again. Um, the One of the problems that I ran into is I ran, I used all salvaged materials in this project. It's what I had from an old house teardown. But if you can and you can afford it, buy new materials. It's definitely the way to go. You'll find that everything goes together a lot easier. Um, so now let's jump to, I'll show you the finished product. Alright guys, that wraps things up today. I'm going to clean up the shop here. If you liked what you saw today, hit the like button. If you want to see more from me, subscribe down below. If you want to learn how I design my kettle, there will be a link to the video right here. Go ahead and click that. Have a good day.